Let me tell you, I met Dr. Mays before I met King. It was Dr. Mays the president of Morehouse College when I was there, 51 to 55. And I spent probably as much time with Dr. Mays as I did, well, I spent more time with Dr. Mays than I spent with Dr. Bill uh, Mills King. And most, m most, most of the time that I spent with Dr. Mays, it was in his office uh, telling him that I needed a little money, and you know he he had these little pockets of money, and he would say okay, and so, but uh, Dr. Mays, Dr. Thurman, Mono King, these are most famous people that I have uh, gotten to know and who have influenced my life, and Dr. Mays influenced my life by one of the things he impressed upon me the first time I heard him speak is the idea that don't let anybody define you. You determine who and what you want to do with the, the life that God gives you. And I think the single thing that I remember is one little poem that he said, uh, and I, sometimes I can quote it word for word, but it goes like this. You only have a minute, 60 seconds in it, forced upon you. You can't refuse it, but you will suffer if you lose it. Make the best of this moment, and the next moment will take care of the next. This is what uh, stuck with me. Uh, that's why when I went to that governor's door, rather than to the back door, I said, this is the moment to say to this governor, that a man is a man is a man without regard to his color. Uh, and one of the things, I guess, that I learned from my brief association with King, I have gotten to know King mostly through his writings, uh, and particularly his writings, a uh, little book called uh, the strength to love. That kind of covers his whole philosophy of love, uh, unmerited suffering is redemptive. You love because God requires you to love, although you may not always get love in return. That, 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 that's one of the things that I learned from King. So, uh, to, to wrap up, uh, another idea uh, uh, that I got from both King and, and Howard Thurman is the idea of the interconnectedness of all of life and all of the life processes. Um, there is uh, uh, no such thing as, there, there's one word we need to get out of the, the, the lexicon of all the language. And it's the word races, R-A-C-E-S. There's no such thing as races. There's a race, and then there are racial differences. But there's no such thing as a black race, a white race, a brown race, whatever. So this, this is one of the, the, the ideas. We are all related, in other words. We're all 
brothers and sisters or cousins or something like that. This is one of the things. And uh, another idea from King is that uh, there's a, there is a moral um, arc of the universe. And it bends towards justice. There's no, no absolutes except love. So we will never get equality. In, in, in other words, life is not fair, but life is good. Uh, everybody can't be born rich uh, uh, in a certain country, et cetera. But if you take whatever is given, uh, even if it's a lemon, if you, if you get a lemon, you turn it into lemonade.